Hi everyone, Renee here. If you're looking for a full body Pilates hit style workout, then you are in the right place. Put on your favorite music or no music at all if you just want to zone in on yourself in the peace and quiet and I will take you through this amazing workout. So we have eight moves. Each move we're going to complete for 50 minutes of work followed by 10 seconds of rest and we're going to complete the circuit three times through for a 24 minute full body Pilates workout. So why want you to get up and start moving to warm up your body, get your blood flowing, and I'm going to show you the moves. It's really only six moves because two of the moves are one-sided. So we're going to work on the right and then the left, okay? But we're going to have eight different sets in each circuit. So let's just step it side to side, arms open and closed. Start to really bring the blood flow, get your body warmed up. So I want you to also begin right away to connect with your core. So pull your navel up and in, and your tailbone is nice and heavy, and we're just stepping it side to side. So as you warm up, move your body. Maybe you do some circles of your shoulders. If you need a longer warm up, pause this video and head on over to my Pilates place, and I have a warm up right there. So I'm gonna tell you the equipment that I have. I am wearing two pound ankle weights. You do not need any. This just takes it up a notch. I also have a set of 10 pound dumbbells five pound dumbbells and three pound dumbbells. You may want two pound dumbbells in there also. And we may not even use the 10, I'm gonna give it a try, but again, we're gonna have high reps, lower weight throughout this entire workout because we're gonna be doing each move for 50 seconds. So I'm gonna show you the moves as you keep moving. Just kind of pay attention so you know what, where we're going. Okay, the first move is going to be feet elevated glute bridge, okay? I am going to place my feet up on the wall. You could put them on an ottoman or a chair as well. And I'm gonna kind of give you some options here. So I'm gonna put my feet right up here on the wall. You want your legs at a 90 degree angle. So think hips underneath your knees and knees in line with your ankles. Upper body will rest flat on the floor and you're gonna press your feet into the wall and lift your hips up, squeezing through your glutes. Your upper back stays pressed into the floor. So you don't wanna arch too high. You wanna keep everything in line and then slowly lower and press. You're pressing in through the balls of your feet. If your feet are on an ottoman or a chair, same thing, your feet will just be up and press through them to squeeze through your glutes. Okay, the next move, we will come down to our side. We're gonna start on our left side and you have a few options. You can be upright just like this, so you're on your left knee, left hand, right foot is flat, leg is straight, pressed into the floor. You will have one weight in your right hand and you'll start a little rotated in your chest, but your hips are squared up, so you're twisting through your midsection and then you'll lift and pull your elbow back, squeezing through both shoulder blades and then lower reach. We will then switch and do that on the other side, same thing. The option here is if this is uncomfortable for your knee, you can make your way down onto your forearm and you will be on your hip. Legs will be at a 45 degree angle and you'll just do the same motion. It won't be as big a range of motion, but you'll get the same work in your upper back. So find what works comfortably for your body, but we're focusing on our upper back there and that's why I want you to feel the squeeze. I will be using a 10 pound weight there, but you can use any size weight that feels good for your body. We will then make our way onto our backs. No weight here. Both arms will reach up, legs will be hip with nice and straight. Tuck your hips under and pull your abs in. And you'll slowly roll up to a seated position, then open, rotate right, close, slow, roll down, and then we'll switch and we'll take it, roll up, open left, close, slow, lower down. Just make sure that this movement is coming from your core. No momentum, everything's moving together nice and tight. If the leg straight is a little too difficult, you can plant both of your feet. Same motion, it just gives you a little more leverage, okay? You can also place your hands behind your thighs to help assist you on the way up. Many options here to work. Then we're gonna make our way into a plank position here. You will have your hands a little wider than your shoulders, soften and grab those feet or hip width and pull everything in. You'll bring your right knee in. You're gonna pike your hips up, right leg extend up, and then pull knee to chest. And we're gonna do 25 seconds on the right side, 25 seconds on the left. That is it. We will then make our way to standing. I'm going to grab five pound weights for this. Arms are going to stay stable here at 90 degrees. You're gonna take your right leg out to the side. Toes are resting nicely on the floor. You have a soft bend of your left knee and right leg is going to circle back. Come forward in line with your hip, then knee towards your elbow, extend down. You can tap your toe on the floor if needed for balance. We will do one side and then the other, of course. And then our final move of the circuit, we will come down into a plank position and you will push up, press up, pike hips up and down, okay? So that will be our final move. 
I will take you through all these moves. We do not have a lot of time between the moves because we have 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. The 10 seconds of rest is simply transition time. So we're gonna be moving quickly. I want you to know what's to come and I, of course, will cue you right along. Great, so you should be warmed up, ready to go. Find where you are going to do the feet elevated glute bridge. And we're gonna get started here in just a moment. Make sure that you have water. I just hit start on our timer. I'm gonna to come to my wall. Feet are up, remember 90 degree angles. Three, two, one, go. Okay, press hips up and lower. Nice and controlled here, so you're squeezing your glutes on the way up and the way down. I want you to also think of pressing your palms into the floor and pressing your feet into whatever surface they are on. You are, will also be pulling your navel up. So this is a core all around your core, your glutes and your abs. Nice work, you will feel this in your hamstrings. And this is one of those, it's a body weight move. So that means that you have to focus on squeezing the muscle you're working that much more. There have been so many studies that say the more that you can contract and squeeze through your muscle, the, more, the better and more muscle development you will get. So that's what you just wanna keep focusing on this entire time is squeezing in through the muscle that you're supposed to be working. We just have three more seconds. Pull it up at the top, squeeze, and lower. Okay, 10 seconds, make your way to your left side, whichever position you want to be in. I'm trying 10 pounds, and we have three seconds, two, one, go. Okay, so pull out a little back, slight rotate. Remember, you can be on your hip here if this is uncomfortable, this position. Your goal is to work your upper back. And you just wanna find the best position to do so without hurting yourself. You don't wanna hurt your joints. Smile through this, yes. So pull in through both of your back muscles here. Breathe through this, you're just pulling your elbow nice and tight. Of course, you're keeping your core engaged, pressing your top foot flat into the floor. Nice work, you have 15 more seconds. I'm feeling this in my upper back and then we're gonna quickly just switch to the other side. So this 10 second transition period is not very long. So we're continuing to move through this that's it. Okay, switch to the other side. So this time, right hand down, right knee down, or you're on your right hip. You're having the weight in your left hand. A little rotation from your upper body. Ready, go. Pull and lower. Yes. So yes, of course you're feeling this in your core. You're twisting from there. You're stabilizing right in your midsection, in your powerhouse. And you're pulling your elbow back. But the only reason your elbow pulls back is because your upper back is doing the work. This is a great way to work your posture, your, to help your posture get a little stronger there. Beautiful. Helps with confidence. After this, we're going into roll-ups with your rotation, with your twist at the top. You have 10 more seconds. Keep going, keep pulling. My upper back is on fire here. Yours should be too. Last one. Okay, set your weight off to the side. Make your way down to the floor. Arms reach up, legs are straight. Three, two, one, go. Slow roll up, open twist right, close, slow roll down. So this is not a race. This is control. Think quality over quantity here. Nice work. Your navel has to pull and your abs have to contract to lift you up. Your arms are staying right in line with your shoulders. So they are not helping you lift up. Remember your options, remember your modifications as needed. Make each move work for you and your body. Breathe through this. Abs are in nice and tight. Working vertebrae by vertebrae on the way up and on the way down. We're gonna have one more each side. There's to the right, and now take it one more to the left. Nice work. And now we're making our way to our plank here. So just flip on over. Hands out of the way, bend your shoulders, feet hip width, pull your right knee into your chest to start. Pike hips up, right leg extends up, and then pull knee to chest. Yeah, just like that. We have 25 seconds on this side, and then we'll switch to the left. So squeeze your glute at the top, and feel your shoulders and your upper body as well. Navel pulls in and away. So think of your abs pulling your knee towards your chest and then your abs pressing your hips up. 
Last one this side. Put your right foot down, left knee in. High hips up and lower, yes. And if you're wearing ankle weights, you're gonna feel this even more in your glutes. Once again, press away with your hands. So you're feeling your upper body shoulder mobility here. And you're also feeling your core and your glutes. Nice work. After this, we're coming up to standing. That's it. Okay, make your way up to standing. Grab a set of weights if you would like. No weights, no problem. I have five pound weights. Here we go. Right leg sweeps back, forward, knee towards your elbow, extend. Sweep back, whew, forward, up, and down. Yes. You're going to feel this in your entire glute, your leg. Remember, if you need to, you can tap your foot down or leave it to a hover to challenge your balance. Breathe through this. Focus on one point on the floor so that you can stay upright. Smile. You have 15 seconds and fall it over. Catch yourself. Remember, if you're wobbling, if you're falling, that's not a bad thing. That's your body, that's your muscles working. So be grateful that you're able to catch yourself and stay upright. That's it. Okay, you have 10 seconds and then we're quickly switching sides. Give your arms a little bit of a break. Make sure that you have room. Arms up, left leg out, here we go. Leg sweeps back, forward, knee to elbow, extend. Yes. 50 seconds of balancing is not easy. And once again, if you have the ankle weights on, it just takes this up a level. Makes it a little more spicy here. 30 seconds. And then we're coming down into our plank. The push-ups to the pike. Yes. 20 seconds. If you need to catch your balance, tap your toe. No worries. 15 seconds. My arms are on fire as well. Just holding them here. Lights up. And of course your core is working because it's stabilizing you. Last one. And down. Okay. Set your weights down. We are coming into our push-up pike. Okay, make your way to your plank, hands slightly wider, feet back, here we go. Arms bend, press, pike hips up, lower. Yes. Okay, this is the last move of the first circuit, okay? And then we're just going to complete this two more times through. So now you know the moves, you're really starting to learn them. So now I want you to push deeper into the muscle work, into the muscle engagement. Keep chin off your chest, your core is pulled in tight, elbows are going at a nice 45 degree run, you're feeling this in your chest, your shoulders, and your back. Pull everything in a little bit tighter, a little bit stronger. You have 10 more seconds here. I know you're getting tired, but you're strong. Remember your abs, lift your hips up and pull them down. Last one right here. And down. Okay, we're taking it from the top. So wherever you were for your bridge, go back there. Press your feet in, 90 degree angles, arms are long by your side, palms face down. Your hips lift and lower. Okay. So just like that, we're round two. It's amazing. Remember, your upper back stays right on the floor here, pressing down into it. You're not going to arch in your back. You're keeping everything tight, controlled. Press a little deeper into whatever your feet are on. That helps to engage it and squeeze your glutes. I really want you to focus on the squeeze. Focus on that muscle. And the tighter you squeeze, you're gonna feel a deeper engagement, which means you're building muscle. You're speeding up your metabolism. 10 more seconds. You got this. Press a little tighter, squeeze a little harder. Three seconds. And that's it. Okay, make your way onto your left side. Grab whatever weight you would like. Remember, you can be on your hip or upright like this. Weight is in your right hand. Here we go. Pull elbow back and lower. It's pull and extend. Yes. So you're feeling your entire backside body working here. You're also stabilizing yourself with your core. Press the bottom of your right foot into the floor if you're up like I am. And you want a nice straight leg and squeeze of your glute. 
If you need to be on your hip, that's totally fine as well. Remember, you find what's comfortable for you. You just wanna make sure that you're engaging the proper muscles. So right now we're engaging our upper back. Twist, rotate through your midsection, keeping your hips squared and your hips stacked. You have eight more seconds. Feeling this in my upper back, round two. Yes, last one. Okay, switch sides. Right hand, right knee, weight is in your left hand, left foot's nice and flat, and we have three, two, one, go. Pull elbow back, lower tap, pull back, and lower. Just little rotation from your midsection. Nice work. You're pulling your elbow back with your upper back. Nice work. Abs in, press your left foot in, left leg is straight. You have 28 seconds and smile, breathe. Because we're getting very minimal rest here, our heart rate's gonna start to lift up a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. But our goal in this workout is to build muscle, gain strength. So this is not a cardio workout. This is a strength workout, endurance. One more. Yes, okay, make your way to your back. And we are coming into our roll-ups with the rotations. Arms are up, legs are straight, or feet are flat. Two, one, go. Roll up, right arm opens, close, roll down. Roll up, left arm opens, close, and down. Yes. So controlled here. There is absolutely no momentum. The only part of your body that's lifting you is your core. So it's lifting your entire upper body. Roll-ups are amazing to build core strength. Smile. You have a few more, just like this. You got the 15 second mark already. And then we're making our way to our plank. And we smile, because you're strong. That's it, roll it up one more time, hold it here. Flip your way to your plank, ready? Okay, plank positions, hands slightly wider, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Two, one, go. Pike hips up, right leg extends, pull knee to chest. Extend, pull knee to chest. Remember, just 25 seconds on this side, and then we're switching 25 seconds on the other side. So pull your abs in every time your knee pulls in. And then you press your leg, squeezing through the entire back side, every time you extend. Yes. Okay, that's it, left knee. Yep, yeah, just like that, you're on the left side. Once again, squeezing in, remember all of your muscle engagement. Nice work, nice job. We're coming up to standing right after this. You have eight more seconds here. Last one. Okay, bring it down, make your way to standing. Okay, I'm grabbing five pound weights here. You grab whatever you would like. Right leg out, arms at 90, here we go. Leg sweeps back, forward, knee pulls and lowers. Sweep back, forward, lift up and lower. Getting all angles of your thigh and your glute here. Squeezing in and out entire time and of course your upper body because you're holding isometric hold here for your shoulders yes you have 20 more seconds to the side of course the leg you're standing on is feeling it in an intense way smile 10 seconds breathe through this last one right here knee pulls up and okay, 10 seconds this side. Woo, shake out your arms a little bit. Your left leg's going out to the side, right leg, right foot flat, arms up, here we go. Sweep back, forward, knee towards your elbow, lower. Yes, okay. Just like that, you simply have one more move and round two's already done. So you just have one more time through all of these moves. 30 seconds here 
For some reason, the side two is really challenging my balance here. I think because we're starting to get tired and those little muscles are working so hard. Remember, like I said, if you're wobbling, if you're shaking, if you're finding yourself to be unstable, that's okay. Your body's working. You're challenging yourself. So that's a good thing. No judging yourself. Last one. Yes, okay. Plank position here. Hands slightly right between your shoulders. Feet back. Push up to pike in two, one, go. Elbows bend, press, hips pike up and lower. Bend, press, hips pike and lower. So you're gonna feel this in your chest and your shoulders the most. But of course, guess what? Your core is still working. Abs press in to lift your hips and abs press in to lower your hips. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. You've got this. Planks, pikes, full body position, full body move. Squeeze your thighs, everything right here. You have 10 more seconds and we're going into our final round, starting with bridges. This is it, okay. Final round, make your way to your wall or wherever you're placing your feet up on and put them there. Yes, 90 degree angles, arms are long. Here we go, lift hips and lower, lift and lower. Okay, press your feet into the wall, squeeze through your glutes that much more. I want you to squeeze so much that you find that shape, that you find that muscle engagement deeper than before. Your upper back, Stays pressed into the floor even as you lift and lower your hips. <sighs> nice work. Abs pull in as well. So think hips and navel are pulling towards each other inward. Okay? And press your feet even more. That's going to just help to build muscle that much stronger, that much quicker. Nice. You have five more seconds right here. Last one, lower down. That's it, no more in this workout. Okay, grab one weight in your right hand. Left hand, left knee on the floor or your hip. Ready, go, pull elbow back and lower. Okay, once again, when you reach down to the floor, you're rotating through your obliques, through your midsection. So it's already moved to a round three. So take your time through each motion. Remember, we're not in a rush. We want to build our muscle, build our strength. So this is not cardio. This is controlled movement. That's why we're here for 50 seconds. So we have time. And we're simply thinking about our muscle engagement. 15 seconds. And then we're taking it to the other side. Your upper back should be on fire. This 10 pound weight is woo! Yes, smile. Last one. Okay, switch sides. Right hand down, right knee down. Left foot is flat, leg is straight, weight is in your left hand. Three, two, one, go. Pull and lower. Pull, lower, twist. So your elbow pulls back because your upper back is doing so. Nice work. And you're rotating, wringing everything out through your waist. Last time doing this move. So give it everything you've got. I love working my upper back. I love a strong back. And of course it helps you to stand taller. Feel more confident, proud. 15 seconds. And we're going into the roll-ups with the rotations. Yes, nice work. You're coming down to your final five minutes here. That's it, weight off to the side, roll ups. Lay back down, legs can be straight or feet flat, arms reach up in three, two, one. Roll it up, twist open right, close, slow down. Yes, okay, remember, like I keep saying, take your time. I want you to really put your mind to your core and that's what's lifting and lowering you. That's how you get a stronger, midsection, that's how you get stronger abs. 
and smile because you're doing this. Keep your chin off your chest. You tighten your upper body is moving together. Your abs are pulling them a little bit tighter. 15 seconds. Then we're flipping over to our plank. Yes. Okay, you're gonna do one more where you roll it all the way up nice and slow. Hold it there, rotate to your plank. Okay, you have eight more seconds here. We're coming into a plank position. Three, pull your right knee in. Two, one, pike hips up, right leg lifts, pull knee to chest, lift pike, pull knee to chest. Yes, nice work. So we're here for 25 seconds on this side. Abs are pulling in a little bit tighter every single time. You just have a few more seconds and then we're switching legs. Squeeze through your glute on the extension. Last one, foot down, left knee in. Pike up, pull in, it's pike and pull. Yes. I love this move. This is just such a strong body move. And when you put your mind to every muscle group at hand, you're working a lot of muscles here. And this does get your heart rate up a little bit. Breathe through this. You have 10 more seconds. Nope, we're done. I almost took you longer. We're coming up to standing. We're having so much fun with that move. Okay, ready? Go. Right leg sweeps back, forward, knee to elbow, extend. Yes, okay, last time through here. After this, we just have two more. That's it. We have the left side and then our push ups to pike. See, you've made it so far and you're so strong. Think about how far you've come and be proud of that. Yes, okay, remember, focus on something. Your standing leg feels it. 12 seconds. Breathe, that's what's gonna help you get through these moves is your breath work. One more, try to stay with me. Okay, one more side here. Woo! You've got this. Arms up, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Sweep back and forward, knee pulls and lowers. There you go. Arms on fire, lower body on fire. Core, keeping us upright. 35 seconds, and then just one more move. Our push-ups to a pike. Yes, you've got this. You're stronger than you give yourself credit. You're not gonna give up on yourself now. There's 20 more seconds here. Find something to focus on so you can balance. 12 more seconds. Wow. Arms. Keep your elbows up. One more. Yes. Woo! Okay. Weights off to the side. You ready? Final move. 50 more seconds of work. That's it. Hands slightly wider. Feet hip width. Are you ready? Go. Elbows bend and press. Hips pike up and lower. Breathe through this. My heart rate definitely spikes here. That's the beauty of it. Yes, nice work. Everything's coming to an end. You've put in this much work, so try to push it through. This push up to pike, another full body move. That's what I love about all of these moves. We're working every muscle group together. Keep going, keep breathing. You have 15 more seconds and then your entire workout is done. 24 minute full body Pilates. You can always redo this if you would like for a little bit longer workout. One more here. It's push up, press up, pike and lower. That's it. Knees go down, push your glutes back, find a nice child's pose, head rest and breathe. Find length in your upper body. Your glutes sit back on your heels. And slowly roll up to a seated position. Remove we'll your ankle weights if you had them up. Cross at your ankles. Let's do a little spinal rotation to finish this block here. Take your left hand, bring it outside of your right thigh. Rotate, trying to keep your back nice and straight, twisting out all the toxins. 
come through center, switch sides. Yes. Back through center. Arms reach out, take a deep breath in, arms move overhead. And exhale. Do that again. Inhale. And exhale. Yes. Roll your shoulders back. And roll your shoulders forward. I'm going to try something a little different today. I want us to lie down on our backs and we're going to end in the Shavasana. If you do not have time and you're done, that's amazing. But there have been so many studies saying that once we spike our bodies, like spike our stress hormones, then we should rest them before we move on with our day. So let's make our way down onto our backs real quick. Just a little bit. And stay with me as long as you would like. Okay, feet go slightly wider. Think, think mats, distance apart. Let your just legs fall open. Arms go out to a little bit wide, palms face up. And I want you to begin right here, finding your breath, finding your stabilizing breath. I want you to bring it back to normal. Maybe you're breathing a little bit harder through that workout. And right now I want you to start to relax. Feel your rib cage expand and your belly lift open every time you breathe in. And then as you exhale, everything contracts in. Just start to notice your body. And now I want you to stiffen up, squeeze through your feet, your ankles, your hands, and then let everything go. And start to just relax. The floor has you. You are safe. And take these few moments to just bring everything down. Bring your stress level back down so that you can go on with your day and feel amazing. Let everything rest right here into the mat. No tension anywhere. If you start to feel tension in your face, maybe you squeeze your face in and then let it go. Anywhere you feel tension, let the tension come and then release the tension. And I just want you to stay here for a few more breaths. Move your nose out through your mouth. Yes, and you can stay here as long as you would need. And if you're ready to move, I want you to start to wiggle your toes, circle out your wrists, your ankles, and then make your way to one side of your body and slowly press up to a seated position. Coming back into that cross leg, bring your hands onto your knees. Take a deep breath and roll your shoulders. And bring your arms down by your side. Breathe in, arms overhead. Bring your palms together at your chest. And take a few moments. Thank your body. Thank yourself right here. Such a grounding position. Press your palms together. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Thank you all for being here with me today. And thank yourself for taking this time, especially if you stayed with me for this last little Shavasana here. It helps to really restore your body and to tell your body that you are not in a stressful state. So you bring all of those stress hormones down. It's such a wonderful way to end your workouts. We're going to start to incorporate these a little bit more into our days and make sure that you're feeling good. We want your workouts to help you feel good throughout the day, not totally depleted. And that's what I hope you get from each and every one of my workouts. Let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed this 24-minute fit style Pilates workout. Make sure that you like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.